Hi guys, as you might have noticed, I've been gone for a month without creating any new YouTube videos and that was with a reason. I've been teaching myself to use Power BI, a dedicated business intelligence software for those of you who don't know. And uh, I'm actually really astonished by the capabilities of uh, these dedicated software. So I'm still a huge uh, fan of creating your custom visualizations in Google Sheets and Excel when your data set is rather small. But if you have the time and if you have a rather sizable uh, data set with multiple linked uh, data tables, Power BI is definitely the way to go. So this will be a video where I simply showcase the project that I've done all by myself uh, after finishing a Power BI course. What are the capabilities of this software? and why I'm such a huge fan of it. And uh, let me guys know if you want me to create tutorials on how to create these actual dashboards uh, with this exact functionality in Power BI. So without further ado, what you can see here is a dashboard, not unlike what I create in uh, Google Sheets or Excel, as you might already see. However, the capabilities of this report are much bigger than I could ever create in Excel. For example, the first thing is called drill throughs. So imagine we have a line chart of dates uh, and we have these dates on a monthly basis. And if I wanted to have this on a higher, on a small, smaller scale, for example, I want it to be displayed in a yearly basis or even in a weekly basis, or maybe even in a daily basis. If we had this in Excel, this would be quite burdensome. But in Power BI, it simply takes uh, one click of a button. So it's called drill up. So we go up. So now we see it all in the yearly level. Then we go drill down, monthly level, weekly level, and even daily, even daily level. What we can also do if, if we select a certain point in uh, this uh, line chart, for example, here, all of our visualizations change according in accordance to that. All of our total revenue calculations, profit calculations, all of our selected top products, everything is changing accordingly. We can obviously uh, manage these relationships between, between tables, but you get the idea. What we can also do is do a drill down. So for example, right now you see a line chart of monthly uh, values. And if I want to drill down on a specific value on a specific uh, month, for example, here, I see there was a drop down, I drill down and I see all the weeks of this month displayed here. And if, for example, there's another week that I want to drill down even more and see it in a daily basis, I drill down here and everything goes into a even smaller level. So I hope you understand the power of this uh, functionality. And uh, obviously, once you do the drill downs, everything changes accordingly. The other thing that I really love about this software is the tooltips. So for example, if you hover over a certain point in the visualization, you can see these uh, different tooltips that give you some basic information about this point. You can adjust this uh, on a very basic level to a certain degree. For example, you can change the colors, uh, the uh, font sizes and whatnot. But what you can also do is make custom tooltips. So for example, we have this bar chart right here representing different categories and the amounts of orders by them. And if I hover over one of these categories, I see a custom tooltip. As you can see, uh, I see all of the total revenue, profit, return rates, uh, orders, all of the information that I want to see for this specific category. And this is achieved by creating a dedicated page where I adjust everything that I want to be seen in this tooltip and then simply connecting it to the uh, visualization that I want it to be connected to. And obviously I can have this displayed uh, in whatever format and whatever pieces of information that I want. So this is extremely customizable. Whatever I want to display here is displayed here. All right, so the next thing is uh, something called a drill through. So what we have here are our top 10 products uh, rated by revenue. And there's only so much information that we can display on a single dashboard. Maybe this is the most important executive dashboard and uh, if we want to see some more specific 
and more deep diving information about a specific product that interests us. So instead of actually going to a separate sheet and then searching for that product there, we can simply right click on the product that is interesting to us. We click drill through. And then we have a dedicated sheet for only this product. And we can once again display whatever we want here. So we can uh, see the metrics like orders, the revenue, the profit, uh, the return products, whatever we want for that specific product. And this is achieved by creating a separate dedicated sheet and then linking it as a drill through sheet. So if we do the exact same thing for a, another product, for example, this one, Nokia smartphone, drill through product, we'll see a completely different view because uh, all of these visualizations are uh, filtered through this Nokia smartphone uh, product filter, or in other words, this dedicated uh, filter that we select here. So that's simply mind blowing to me. And one more thing that I really want to mention are the bookmarks. So for example, I have, uh, I want to have some filters. I only want to filter out the furniture, then uh, this specific date. And uh, obviously all of these uh, visualizations are adjusted accordingly. And then I want to go back to my landing page to wherever the default uh, page is. So I can either click on this button here, which lands me in my default uh, state, or we can also have uh, dedicated buttons for different pages. For example, we go to the uh, product page, we go back to the dashboard page, and obviously I also have a map page. You guys know how much I love my maps. Uh, I didn't really waste any time uh, updating the visualizations here, but uh, I know it doesn't look too pretty, but you get the idea. Here we also have some slicers. We can select whatever categories we want. So we can select specific regions or we can select all of them, whatever. You get the idea. The maps uh, work pretty similarly to what we can do with Excel. So let's go back to our executive dashboard. And uh, also probably I'll show you that you can play with drill throughs, not only in the line chart, but in the orders. So we have different tables, one for orders, uh, order categories, and the other for order subcategories. So we can drill through and we can have all of the subcategories here. And if we want to uh, have a specific drill through for a specific category, we can click this, click technology, and we can only see all of the subcategories of this specific technology category. I hope uh, that makes sense. So what I'm showing you right now is simply the tip of the iceberg of what Power BI does. This is only the visualization level. Uh, what it also excels in, pun intended, uh, is actually creating very intuitive model views uh, and uh, creating these connections between data tables. So I won't go into much detail here. I'll have my uh, separate videos for uh, these topics um, later, but uh, it's, uh, it has its own uh, syntax called uh, DAX code, and you can write extremely specific uh, queries uh, for whatever um, values you need. For example, uh, I have my, they're called measures, and I have my measures for uh, things like 30 day revenues. You can see the syntax here. Uh, I have my uh, percentage weekend orders, uh, whatever. Wherever you want to see, you have your specific measures and you can be easily displayed in uh, whatever format that you want. So this is it for this video. This is simply an introduction of uh, why I am becoming a fan of Power of BI. Uh, I will continue learning uh, new uh, pro tips uh, about this software and I will start creating some tutorials about this. Uh, tell me guys if you think that you this is something that you would like to see. If yes, let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I will also keep uploading some Excel and Google Sheets stuff as well. And also don't forget that you can have your custom Excel and Google Sheets and now even Power BI visualizations or dashboards. Simply hit me up in my uh, Gmail provided in the description. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.